God, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to track to track. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the former MVP, Cam Newton, and the Carolina Panthers as they match up with a former league MVP, Matt Ryan, and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What lurks in our final month? We're underway in week 14. This fielded at the two. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Cam Newton getting set to go with this Panthers offense here for the first time. Cam coming off surgery on his shoulder in the offseason. Caused him to miss the final couple of games of the regular season last year. A disappointing end that saw the Panthers lose the last six of his starts after a 6-2 and two first half of the season. On first and ten, Newton. And incomplete to open things up. Greg Olson was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And here now the offense for Carolina. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is incomplete, but a flag back at the line of scrimmage. And this could be a first down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. A shotgun snap for Newton. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This crew against the pass issues at times. Ranked right number 24, Charles, in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now it's Newton. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards and a Panther first down. 
First down, Carolina. They'll run it with Arnis Payne. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Throwing on second down. Newton. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Fast start offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. The numbers for Freeman a week ago, 22 carries, 92 yards, and a touchdown. And as we discovered in talking with the coaching staff prior to the game, going up against a team that struggled against the run has only emboldened them to run the football more. I expect 40 to 50 carries in this game. Third and two, now Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. First down. I'm all day. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Throwing now. Ryan on first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Ryan's pass. Incomplete. Intended for Austin Hooper. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, well, if the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff lineup right now? Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. A look at the numbers from last week for Olsen. Seven catches, 72 yards. Newton to throw. It's hauled in by Torrey Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Artis Payne. Defensively a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. On second and nine, Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Open man is Samuel, complete. 
And he's taken down inside the 30. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 28. Newton will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Here's Hardis Payne. And an alley to run. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. The former Florida Gator, Jordan Scarlett, the rookie with the carry. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down, this is Scarlett on the carry. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished. Just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive is a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his ninth touchdown of the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. You'd have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them, and also it's a nice signal to the rest of the team because we talk about complimentary football all the time. So they've now signaled to the defense, now signaled to the kicking game, hey, we're here to play in this one. We're going to do our part. Let's see if you guys will do the exact same, and we can break this losing streak. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive, 80 yards, 9 plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. This fielded at the 2. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Falcons offense making their way onto the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. Stop made there by Gerald McCoy. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan has got Hooper on the short connection. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and ten. Here's Ryan to throw. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Well, the pass from Ryan complete to Freeman. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's the second year back from Southern Miss, Edo Smith. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Here's Sanu on the catch. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays.
Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll run here with Freeman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As they are now on the board here in the first half. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. We remind you that coming up later tonight, Sunday Night Football, seems like we've seen the Seahawks quite a bit in prime time the last few weeks, and we get them again tonight as they head down to L.A. to take on the Rams. And then tomorrow night for Monday Night Football, it's Giants-Eagles from Chile, Philadelphia. Throwing on second down, Newton. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Defense. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Artis Payne on the toss. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And Falcons fans everywhere excited that Devontae Freeman is back on the field wearing number 24 in the red and black. Remember, he went down in week two in 2018 with an injury and didn't return. They're hoping to see the form that led him to 1,000-yard seasons in 2015 and 2016. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Gets it off to Freeman. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. A gain of three, second down. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. 
And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Ryan now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. And now a tenth carry for Freeman. Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Falcons on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Tavecchio good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. This will be fielded at the 6. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And heading back out there now, the Falcons' defense here. And a big reason they've got the lead here in the first half, some of these hits we're going to see here. Almost like they're a group of superheroes, right? Something out of a comic book. Boom, pow, biff. They are really playing well and making things happen on their side of the ball. Taking me back to my childhood a bit. There you go. You had a collection, didn't you? I did. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. Defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. It's a gain of 10. And the Panther first down. You can't win. 45, 45, Mike, 45. Come to my world. We want it. Come to my world. Now Artis Payne. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. What happened there? Was that just a missed assignment on the O-line? It certainly felt like it, but also the speed of the play. When you're talking about defensive end, they want to be ahead of the clock, don't they? They want to be upfield, making plays on every snap. How about his agility there to run that one down? It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it third and 13. Out of the gun, Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Now their last two drives both ending in touchdowns. It's gotten them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap. Allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. That big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. So right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Complete to Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Ryan going to give to Freeman on the draw. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Now Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Calvin Ridley more than justified his first-round selection in 2018. 64 catches as a rookie and found the end zone 10 times. Did a nice job getting open right there and picking up a first down. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved Foster early. Offense. Had some momentum going, driving down the field. That'll set him back first and 15. I mean, that type of play, when you've got to go in your direction, shoot, my man old Mo is arching an eyebrow at him right now. You've got me going. Keep me going. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Second and five now, Ryan. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and it's third and five. From the gun on third down, Ryan. Now he's got it. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. An 18-yard attempt. The kick by Tervecchio is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. They took it all the way to the one, but in the end, opt for three. Just doesn't sound right, does it? If you get all the way down to the one-yard line, isn't that supposed to be a play in the end zone that culminates in a touchdown for your team? <laughs> and per usual, it felt like the guys on the sideline wanted to go ahead and go for it. Of course they did, but of course head coach, it defers back to him, and he made the decision, let's get three out of this, make sure we get some points. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. To throw again on second down. Newton is going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And Olsen over the middle. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Newton now. 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. Throwing again is Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. Newton now to throw. It's complete. Artis Payne. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Back to throw, Newton. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Grady Jarrett able to record his fifth sack of the season. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. So he comes out of nowhere. He's got this handlebar mustache, greasy hair. And he says, would you rather eat a jar of mayonnaise or three sticks of butter? And I'm look, what? Well, all right, never mind. Third quarter action now. 
Atlanta now coming out on the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Offense. So that'll back them up five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Ryan. This complete to Jones. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Ryan now off the bootleg. And it's complete. Hooper. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They run Devontae Freeman. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Dontari Poe in on the stop. From the 39, Ryan. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Burns. Gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. And hear the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allows him to get home. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. You can feel the anguish all the way up here. It certainly looked like he had that one in the end zone. Open, unable to hold on to it. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Panthers' offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Here's Newton. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. On third down, Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Ready. 
The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Check Mike, check Mike. Now it's Ryan. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The safety, Ross Cockrell, there to knock that one away. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. False start, offense. And that'll set them back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Again on the ground with Artis Payne. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Newton. He's going to look deep for more. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Well, we could counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third in the mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Marcus Matt Ryan in the offense heading back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Ryan now to throw on third down. It's caught. Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. First down. A first down carry for Smith. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. From the 40 now on second down. Ryan. And this one brought in by Sanu. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 16. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll run it again with Smith. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Tavecchio puts this one through, and that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. 
And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Got his target, Samuel. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. From the 50, Newton completes it to Samuel. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 35. A gain of 14. And a pincer. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. To throw is Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time. We give you a look at what's going on there. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Ryan. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. 
A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Ryan leaves with Freeman on the draw. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Smith. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at the 20. Newton to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Newton. And he comes back with one complete. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Newton now to throw. He's got Smith here. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To the air again, Newton. Looking sideline, incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now they go screen, it's complete. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Newton's pass is on target to Moore. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The Panthers on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll run again here with Artis Payne. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. They snap it to Newton. And that's caught by Smith. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Now the second down throw on target. A nice pick up there, 18 yards. First down, Falcons. Quite the turnaround from a week ago where he threw four interceptions. He hasn't had an interception this game, and he told us during the week, my goal, goose egg. He's achieving that so far. And what we're seeing is a guy that you can win with, all right, because anyone who can make that type of an adjustment to shake off a really horrendous week the week before and come back and play mistake-free football to this point, yeah, that's a guy I want to play with, that's for sure. On second down, it's Smith. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
Yeah, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. That throw good for four. It's second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. A gain of two on the play. Brings up third and four. From the gun on third down, Ryan. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. They go play action here on first down. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one goes for 30 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll look to run with Freeman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Falcons push further out in front. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to put. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. The lefty to Vecchio now to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle, you know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. On second and nine, Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 43. A gain of 29 yards. And the Panther first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Newton now to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll make this a second down. Now Newton. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. 45, 45, 45, Mike, 45. On first down, it's Newton. That escapes the sack. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They'll run on first down. Freeman, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Freeman again. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yep. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden... Whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So for the Falcons, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they move to 8-5. and five. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.